a new report suggests that the main reason disgraced and disbarred former attorney Michael Cohen has turned on President Trump is because special counsel Robert Mueller threatened his wife with 30 years in prison. Conservative Daily Post reported on a January Facebook post written by HUD official and former Trump employee Lynn Patton. Many of you may already know that I considered Michael Cohen to be one of my very best friends. Countless people can confirm that we were virtually inseparable during my employment at Trump and that he is, single-handedly, responsible for introducing me to the Trump family and effectively changing my entire life. I would be lying if I didn't admit that my heart still breaks for him and for his family, with whom I had grown extremely closed. What many of you may not be aware of is the fact that I can personally confirm that the only reason Michael Cohen turned on the President of the United States is because Mueller threatened to throw his wife in jail for up to 30 years. Period. She is the co-guarantor of a $20 million personal loan that Mueller discovered Michael secured back in 2015 by falsely inflating the value of his taxi medallions, effectively making her part and parcel to the federal charge of making false statements to a financial institution, to which Cohen ultimately plead guilty. This is also the reason why Cohen's longtime taxi medallion partner, Evgeny Jean Friedman, was granted immunity. Michael Cohen also told me, after they raided his apartment, that the reason why he elected to pay Stormy Daniels $130,000 by using his home equity loan, effectively committing bank fraud, instead of easily using the over $5 million plus cash he has sitting in various state side bank accounts is because his wife controls their finances and he simply did not want her to notice the missing money, as many husbands wouldn't considering to him it went. Period. Moreover, he confessed to me that he never imagined in a million years that Donald Trump would actually win the presidency and that the misappropriation of his home equity loan would ever be exposed since thousands of Americans misuse this type line of credit to pay for colleges, boats, cars and vacations every single day. By Cohen's own admission, Trump ceased all interest and communication in constructing Trump Tower Moscow in June 2016. Over a month before officially being declared the Republican nominee for president. To that end, it is not illegal for him to explore nor deny any for profit construction projects during the campaign, as he was still a civilian global real estate mogul. BuzzFeed, themselves, officially admitted on CNN this morning that they have yet to independently confirm or see any evidence that corroborates their story. Most significantly, Mueller refused to recommend any leniency nor lack of jail time, as he did for Michael Flynn, for Michael Cohen when he was sentenced to three-plus years in federal prison just last month. This would lead most legal experts to reasonably conclude that the special counsel deems information gleaned from Michael Cohen of little consequence or contribution 